Here, we demonstrate how to replace the control board. We turn the machine upside down. This part is the machine's control box, which only requires two screws to secure it. At this moment, take a picture. Loosen it counterclockwise. Then there's one screw here that might be a bit difficult to remove. It requires some patience. Loosen the screw counterclockwise. Some users might wonder why their tool can't hold on to the screw. We can use something like double-sided tape. Wrap it around the tool. This way, you can secure the screw well. Some tools don't have this feature, which makes it more convenient. After disassembling, we can take out the control box. This is our motherboard section. We unplug this connector. This is the power connector. This is the motor's power supply. Do not mix up the order of these three. Assume this is a new motherboard. We need to remove the pulse conversion module. Remove the four screws from the motherboard. Okay, now the motherboard has been completely removed. Then install the new motherboard. Pay attention to the plastic spacers under the motherboard. Then mm, tighten the screws. This is the pulse conversion module. Yellow silver glue and black silver glue. We need to ensure that the black one aligns with the black silver corner on the motherboard. The middle one is for the Y-axis. The pulse output module works the same whether it's plugged in here or there. By default, it's plugged in here. This is the control line for the Y-axis. Plug it in. Here is the control line for the Z-axis. Plug it in. Here is the control line for the F-axis. Power switch line. The power line. Or for the stepper motor. Here we have already replaced the motherboard. Now let's install it back. We definitely support modular design. So if there are updates to the control system in the future, we can conveniently replace the entire system quickly. 
screw in the two screws. Here, double-sided tape is used to secure the screws well. This makes it very convenient to install and reinstall this screw. In future products, we will gradually eliminate this screw and then on this side. Reinstall some cross screws which will make it more convenient for users to assemble and disassemble this control box. Ensure the screws are tightened properly. Now the replacement is complete.